to charge type c lightning we can measure the output using the power meter it supports pass-through charging today we're going to review the iWalk that comes in two colors which can charge the apple watch and has a built-in lightning cable to charge the iphone with dual inputs you can charge it by type c or lightning cable Let's test it. It is capable of charging three devices at the same time. iPhone 12, Samsung Galaxy 9 Plus, and Apple Watch. Let's test it. Okay, it is charging right now. Built-in lightning cable. percent shows charging fine okay the apple watch is also being charged let's get a type c cable to charge the samsung galaxy 53 percent 56 minutes until full percent well, yeah it is taking care of three devices at the same time charging test I can give you some great advice of how you can increase the charging efficiency we have lightning cable in and USB C in and out so this is my conclusion using the included one is not as uh, fast fast as the shorter USB type C cable uh, you know perhaps with a similar gauge I don't know so here's the test anchor USB um, power strip with a maximum of 2.4 amp per port let's plug in in this one and also we can later test if it takes two inputs that's gonna be an interesting test so with the included USB type C cable Let's see how fast it recharges. So according to the user's manual, it is a 10 watts, okay? And let's take a look at the readout. 6.87, around seven watts, okay? Around seven watts. Let's wait for a second and let it uh, stabilize. 7.5, 7.6, .5, okay. It's increasing as time goes by. Okay, it's probably less than eight. And let's try the shorter USB Type-C cable which is not included and by the way the battery came as one bar so it's, this is a great test too when it's uh, at a lower char charge uh, state of charge Type-C it's a really short Type-C cable immediately we see an increase this is at uh, 10 watts already look at that well, 2 amps this is a much better cable to use. So I would uh, advise the manufacturer to get a better quality, maybe a shorter or higher gauge wire, thicker wire that would allow DC current to pass through more easily. Almost 11 watts, look at that. Much, much faster charging rate. And if 
I want to test whether it takes in two sets of cables. I'm using a 12 watts uh, you know, original iPad charger. And this is a power meter, zero watts. Okay, connected. Let's see the Type C. It doesn't do anything. It won't allow dual charging. Okay, and this one is still going strong at around 10.3 watts. Okay. So if I unplug this one, immediately it starts charging using the um, lightning cable. Let's see the output using a really short lightning cable. So let's see what, what it's capable of. So I would think the Charging speed is not as fast as uh, the Type C one. So, from using the same cable from the same charger made by Apple, that's the Type C port. Well, really tells us that um, this one isn't working as well as the anchor power strip, which does 10 watts right off the bat. So yeah, there you go. So in terms of charging, get a higher quality USB Type-C cable. It is worth mentioning that this thing can be charged using a, a power delivery port that is designed to charge your MacBook Pro that you don't have to carry additional wires. Just use a Type-C to Type-C cable getting about 10 watts. It supports pass-through charging, which means it can be used to charge your device when it is being recharged. It's almost full, so we're getting around 8 watts, and we can use it to charge an iPhone, and you can see the wattage increases. To 10 watts and keep in mind this battery bank is almost fully charged 